It's been only three days since that third North Korea-U.S. summit, but Pyongyang is condemning Washington for being, quote, hell-bent on sanctions. North Korea is angry that the U.S. sent letters to the U.N. Security Council calling on member states to ramp up sanctions pressure on the North. Our Oh Jung-hee has more. In response to U.S. efforts to turn the screw on North Korea at the U.N., the North says the U.S. is becoming more aggressive in its hostility toward the regime. Last month, the U.S. and 23 other countries sent a letter to the U.N. Security Council's North Korea Sanctions Committee calling for urgent actions to deal with the North importing far more refined petroleum than the annual cap of 500,000 barrels. The U.S. wanted the committee to demand an immediate halt in petroleum deliveries to the north, but China and Russia blocked the move. According to North Korea's U.N. mission, the U.S., France, Germany and Britain sent a letter to all U.N. member states. The letter urged them to repatriate North Korean workers abroad to ramp up sanctions pressure. The North noted how the letter was sent on June 29th, the exact day when President Trump proposed to North Korea's Kim Jong-un that they meet for a handshake at the inter-Korean border. Pyongyang's U.N. mission issued a press statement. It said even though the U.S. says it wants dialogue, these actions really show Washington is becoming more and more, quote, hell-bent on hostile acts against North Korea. It added the North is not desperate to have sanctions lifted. The North also called on U.N. member states to be wary of Washington's, quote, deliberate attempts to undermine peace on the Korean peninsula. On June 30th, Trump met with Kim Jong-un at the inter-Korean truce village of Panmunjom and announced afterwards that the two agreed to start working-level talks this month on denuclearization. Trump added the sanctions will remain, but it looks forward to lifting them when the North makes progress. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.